fishy folks and happy Thursday to you. Hope everyone's having a great week. Guys, before we get started in this epic video, do me a favor and obliterate that subscription button if you haven't done so already. Gently boop the notification bell so you know when I release a new video or if I go live or any of that other cool stuff. And then check out michaelsfishroom.com where currently I have a promo going on. Use promo code MFR. 16 for 16% 16 off your entire purchase. That's right, folks. I said 16% off. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, well Mike, why 16%? That's such a strange percentage. And the reason is, I hit 16,000 subscribers on YouTube last week, and I want to give a little something, something back to y'all. So, michaelsfishroom.com, click, 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 fill up your cart, boom, promo code MFR16, saving money. That's how it works, kids. All right, folks, in today's epic video, I'm gonna talk about NEC and my experiences, how much money I made, what I bought, maybe a small, tiny little bit of a rant. So do me a favor, grab a snack and a beverage, and as always, that is, grab a snack and a beverage, and as always, let me know in the comments down below what you're eating, what you're drinking, and stand by. All right, fishy folks, let's talk about the NEC. The NEC is the Northeast Council of Aquarium Societies, and this is from their uh, About page on their website. The Northeast Council of Aquarium Societies was established in 1956 to assist and strengthen member societies to act as a clearinghouse for material relating to the aquarium hobby, to assist local societies in publicizing their events, and to promote the aquarium hobby in general. So essentially, the NEC is um, not really a governing body, but sort of an umbrella of local aquarium clubs in the Northeast. I live in New Jersey and uh, the club that's closest to me that I don't belong to anymore um, is part of the NEC. The club that I go to most often, Bucks County Aquarium Society, best club around, best auction, best people. Tom and Kaylee do a wonderful job. Anywho, uh, they belong. And then, you know, we were in Connecticut and there were clubs from Vermont and Massachusetts, so all over the Northeast. Obviously Connecticut, New York, whatever. Um, and so they put on this convention every year and to be honest, uh, I did it last year for the first time. I was supposed to do a booth with another person. We were, he was gonna sell his stuff, I was gonna sell my stuff, it was gonna be great. He backed out, I did it by myself. I really met Martin and Lisa at that convention. I met Scott and Liz at that convention and I had a great time. I didn't make money last year. This year I was planning on making money and we're gonna talk about that in a second, but long story short, it's a good fishy nerd thing. Now, you have to understand, these organizations are run completely by volunteers. Does that mean they can slack on their duties? No, but that's the excuse I got when I had issues. And I did have some issues. I'm gonna go over those really quickly. This is the rant part, so buckle in, folks. I get there, and I'm supposed to have power and uh, chairs at my table, as well as access to water. I had none of that at first. When I asked about water, the response I got was, didn't you bring water? No, no, I have. I didn't bring 40 gallons of water to fill my tanks up. Why? Because I have hardy guppies that don't need the exact water parameters that they are raised in. And quite frankly, I don't want to lug around 40 gallons of water. I, I was told water would be available. Where is it? Instead of saying, let me see what I can do for you, Mike. I'll find you some water. I know we have it here. Didn't you bring water? Yeah, not a good way to start. Then as I'm setting up, I realize I have no power. It says I'm supposed to have power. When I ask about power, didn't you bring an extension cord? No, why would I bring an extension cord? So every, even if I did bring an extension cord, that would mean I have to run an extension cord across a walkway without any tape, hope nobody trips, falls, hurts themselves, or breaks any of my tanks, you know, ripping the plug out. Anyway, um, Russ, the president of one of the clubs there, uh, got with hotel engineering and got me power rather quickly. 
and the, the head engineer said, you know, we're so sorry, we just, we, we forgot this booth, you know, anything we can do, let me know, and it was fine. And I got water and chairs. I had to go find chairs. Now, again, these people are all volunteers, but that, to me, that's not an excuse. Also, uh, the person that's in charge of the vendor room, she had a family emergency and couldn't be there. And I know if she was there, it would have been different. Um, and I know the person that was in charge was stepping up, but um, in business, if that happens, it doesn't matter. You still have to be 100%. And quite frankly, I was disappointed. And I'm not gonna be doing it again. All right, that's enough of my little rant. I didn't really wanna to offend too many people. Um, believe it or not, I care about those people and what they do for the hobby, so. That's the rant for now. Sorry it wasn't more dramatic, but let's talk about how much money I made because I know you guys really want to know how I did. Um, at any rate, <clears throat> I made a spreadsheet because that's what I do. I'm an analytical guy. I do analytics for work. So essentially my expenses were about $665 and I made about $665 give or take a couple dollars here and there. Some rough figures for you. If you're planning on vending at one of these conventions or even going to these conventions, you gotta, gotta think about these costs. The hotel, I stayed two nights. We didn't stay at the hotel that the convention was given at. Uh, it got really poor reviews. It didn't have free breakfast. It got really poor reviews and it was old. I don't know if I mentioned the poor reviews, but. So we stayed about two exits up the highway like 10 minutes away at best on a hotel that was uh, less than a year old, had free breakfast and had great reviews, and an indoor saltwater swimming pool that the kids played in. So the hotel was about 280 bucks for the two nights. Uh, gas to get to the event and get home, about 70. Tolls were about 40 bucks, 35 bucks, something like that. Snacks and beverages, that's right folks. I brought snacks and beverages, about $10 I brought. Milano cookies, uh, regular goldfish, and pretzel goldfish, and apples. Get this, honey crisp apples with honey nut peanut butter. Oh, that's some good stuff right there, folks. And my beverage of choice, as always, was water. And then uh, we did steal some of Martin and Lisa's water, too. Uh, food. Now, this is an expense that was quite a bit lower than uh, I thought it was going to be, and that's because uh, two nights dinner was purchased for me and my son Lucas uh, by some great folks, Greg Jones one night and uh, Martin and Lisa one night. And uh, so food was about 40 bucks for lunches. I mean, I bought, I bought lunch for Greg and for Martin and Lisa too, but it wasn't a fair trade. So thank you guys, I appreciate it. Um, the table, $120 to buy the table that didn't have electric and power. I mean electric and chairs when I first got there because electric and power, same thing. Um, now, here's where things get a little bit tricky. What did I buy? <clears throat> well, I spent about $125 and I bought a trio of guppies, which I'm gonna show you later in the video. And I bought some new tubs for summer tubbing, which uh, if you watch the video, either the live stream, yeah, I think the live stream, uh, Greg Jones and I talked about it for couple seconds um, and I bought some more guppies and some plecos and here's the thing guys Saturday morning I see this guy right next to my table selling nice guppies dirt cheap like five dollars for ten of them and I'm thinking if I'm looking for guppies and they were yellow and I was selling yellow cobras for ten dollars a pair which is pretty cheap um, I'm thinking I'm gonna buy those other yellows instead 20 for or ten for five bucks instead of two for ten so I did what any other businessman would do. I bought all his guppies. And he also had little tiny bristlenose plecos, um, standard bristlenose. I think he had two bags, $5 each for the bag. I think there were 10 in each bag. I bought those too. Then I turned around and sold them, sold some of them. And I made money on that purchase. Plus I have them in the fish room, so we're gonna breed out the plecos and check out the yellows. I'll show you those as well. But <clears throat> so I bought the tubs, I bought some guppies, I bought some guppies, I bought some plecos. Spent about 125 bucks on buying stuff. Oh, I bought a little sponge filter from Greg because I needed an extra one when I broke the tank. Um, how much did I sell? Well, I sold roughly $600 worth of stuff. Um, we're gonna count all that as profit, not including 
you know, what it costs to raise the guppies or, and that kind of thing. So basically I broke even, might have made a little bit, might have lost a little bit, whatever. Um, the fact is I went there to make money and I didn't really make money and that, that bugs me. Now, I did, however, have a great time with friends. I had dinner with Greg and his beautiful wife, Julie. We had a great time, found a local pizza place. It was pretty good. Um, I did get to hang out with Martin and Lisa. You know, they're a couple hours away normally. So, you know, that was pretty good too. The kids got to hang out, which is nice. So overall, it was a good weekend. Just I didn't make money, which was the purpose. Anyway, folks, let's take a quick tour of the fish room and see what I got that's new. So do me a favor, stand by. All right, guys, here are some of the yellow guppies I bought. I can't remember how many I bought. I think I bought maybe 20. I sold some while I was there, but he, the guy said he's trying to breed uh, big, ye solid yellow tails, and these this is second or third generation. I, I mean, they're great looking guppies. Don't get me wrong, uh, they seem healthy, but uh, nothing special. But I, basically I bought them so he couldn't sell them. I mean, I, I don't know if that's crappy or not, but that's what I did because I'm a businessman. And I'm in it for the money, folks. Now, over here are some baby bristlenose plecos that he bred. They're just standard bristlenose. You can see one down there uh, just chilling. I think I bought 10 or 20. I don't remember how many I bought. I did sell a bunch while I was there, so I definitely made money on this purchase, which was pretty awesome. Now, the best thing I bought were these platinum white guppy trios. Now, I bought them from a trio, one trio. That's a platinum white guppy trio. Anyway, <clears throat> I bought them from a local breeder who, uh, I don't know if he wants me to mention his name, but he's very well known in the hobby. In fact, when I talked to Doug Gray about these guppies, he said, that dude breeds really good stuff. Buy them if you want. Buy anything from him and know they'll be great. And I did. And so it's a trio of platinum white guppies. Uh, currently, they're in quarantine. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully in about two weeks I'll have some fry and then in about a month, month and a half, we'll be selling them on the website. Uh, solid white guppies with black eyes is what I've been looking for for about a year and um, you know, we'll see how they, we'll see how they breed, we'll see how they do. So that's it fishy folks. Uh, in case you're wondering, I sold the mo what I sold the most were uh, these uh, lemon blue eye plecos. There's a little baby there and I sold a poop ton of these. I almost sold out of these um, red dragon guppies. So, folks, also uh, check out the website MFR16 and uh, pre order for these fantastic blue cobra guppies. Now available on the website for pre order. All right, guys, see ya. It's a convention where there's vendors, there's speakers, that would be the sump pump. Um, essentially, essentially, my expenses were about $665. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah. No. I, what the hell am I talking about? Hi, fishy folks, and happy terrific Thursday. That still doesn't just roll off the tongue like water change Wednesday, but we're changing. We're changing. We're going to start over. Hi, fishy folks, and happy day today. I don't know what day I'm going to... I don't Currently, if you use promo code MFR16, you get 16% off your entire purchase. Now, I got an itch, so we're gonna start over. <sighs> Hi, fishy folks, and happy Thursday to you. Hope everyone's having a great day and a great week. And uh, guys, you know the drill before. <sighs> I don't know what, what you guys, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know.